Oh, some other stuff that I was thinking about today on March 20th. So I was um, making the sandwiches yesterday and doing the laundries and stuff. I was watching the basketballs a little bit. Not like, I have not been paying attention the way I, I used to. I have become a, a bit nonplussed. Right? Nonplussed. A bit. I've become a bit nonplussed. I have personal reasons. I do. I have personal reasons. Which I don't need to go into, do I? No. But anyway, I got to see some. Oh, what's going on with the McNuggets, the Denver McNuggets? They're seeming a little, they're seeming a little, uh, um, what's the word? Hmm. Not apathetic. That is not the right word. They seem a little... They seem like they're like stuck in jello or something. What's going on, fellas? What's going on, Big Pitob? What's going on, A. A. Ron Gordon? What's going on? Y'all getting down about that Lauren Bobert bitch? Oh my. Where is she in office? I don't even know. But she's from Colorado. That's what I learned. She's out there. She's out there. They're talking about how. It's so great to be a teenage mom. Oh my god. She's out there talking up the teenage momhood. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? All over the world for decades we've been fighting child marriage. And now this crazy bitch is out there talking about about the virtues of her of her teenage son, her underage son knocking up an underage girl. Oh my god. Oh my god. Disgusting. Disgusting. Oh. Right? Anyway, that, that must be rough. <sighs> oh, but that, uh, that Brooke Lopez. Oh my God, Brooke Lopez. You having a hell of a year, baby. That's what Bobby Portishead said. <laughs> he did, Bobby Portishead with his giant eyeballs. Where's that band Portishead? No, I call him Bobby Portishead. That's what I call him. Bobby Portishead. The band Portishead from the 90s. That used to be me and all my sexy music. <laughs> we were dating. <laughs> so that's all I say. Bobby Portishead playing the sexy music. <laughs> Brooke Lopez. Yeah, how you doing, baby? Mm. You're having a great year. You are. Good for you. Good for you. You are gigantic. You are. You're huge. You are. You're so tall. You're so tall and so big. You're a gigantic human being. Well, I just marvel because, you know, I'm five foot two and three quarters. Five foot two and three quarters. And while I have gigantic boobies, I am not a gigantic person. No, I'm not. I got tiny little itsy bitsy hands and feet. And I'm not very tall. I just, I just, I just, I just marvel at you, at you giant human beings. Just do like giant trade people. Oh my gosh. How'd you get so big, dude? How'd you and your brother get so big? Oh my gosh. I know. You're, 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 you're a gigantic dude, and then you play real smooth. Look at you doing that. Oh my gosh. Good for you. Did your mom make you take ballet? Is that why you're graceful? She takes some ballet? <laughs> Good for you, Brooke Lopez. Good for you. You look like Ryan Stiles and Harry, Harry Belafonte had a baby, if that was possible. <laughs> you Ryan Belafonte <laughs> yeah, good for you good for you Brooke Lopez <clears throat> oh yeah and then Austin Reeves had a great had a great game yesterday oh my gosh Austin Reeves oh, I call him Cameron Fry he, he, do, he looks like that dude doesn't he mm -hmm. Ferris Bueller's Day Off hmm? totally he just needs a little glasses right Oh, did he wear those glasses in that? Did he wear the glasses in that in that movie? I don't remember. It's been a long time since I seen it. Good for you, dude. He did. He had a monster game, huh? Throwing down. Throwing down. Good for you. Sandwiches all around. Everybody gets a sandwich. I made enough. Oh my gosh. 
Sony sandwiches. <sighs> yeah. Oh yeah. So I didn't finish those thoughts about those sandwiches. So yeah, instead of making dinners, I made those are for those are for like for lunch for Omar to eat during the day. All right. So he's not just eating peanut butter and jelly all the all the time. Yeah. And they're a quick thing, you know. I have stuff down there to make salads and stuff. So like I come home from the gallery, I can make <clears throat> I can make a salad, and I can take sandwiches with me to to to, to the gallery too, right? Except I have a microwave, not a toaster oven. That's gonna change soon though. I'm gonna have a toaster oven. Somebody asked me if I live in the back of my of my gallery. I'm like, no. I'm like, oh my god, are you kidding? There's no shower. There's no shower and the water pressure in the sink is like next to nothing. Crazy. No, I don't live there. Some dude came in the other day telling me he was a wizard. He did. And he wasn't talking about Washington wizards. He was ta talking about being a wizard. He's like, oh, I'm a shaman. I'm like, oh, turns out he was doing MDMA. I'm like, oh, okay. Whatever. Wearing your green caber suit. Yeah, seriously. Oh. Takes all kinds, huh? <clears throat> oh, God. <clears throat> my dryer. My dryer. Something going on with my dryer. There is. It doesn't get hot all the time, right? And I got to run the clothes through like three, four times, which that's not good, right? It needs to get looked at. And I had to run the towels through like four times before they got dry. And it makes ma making laundry or doing laundry take forever. Brody, what's up? What's up? Oh, don't bite me. What's the matter? Is your bum? Why can't I pet your bum? See, I'm not hurting you. What's the matter with you? He doesn't want me to pull the sticks out of his out of his fluff. He likes the stuff in his fluff. He gets mad when you take the stuff out of his fluff. It's like his jewelry. If I if I if I do pull it out of his fluff, he goes out and he rolls on it to get more. He's gonna have to see a groomer soon. Mm-hmm. Because he won't let us brush him. He won't. He won't. He likes being dirty. You like being dirty? You like being dirty? You like it? You like being a wild animal? He does. He likes being a wild animal. He's totally a wild animal. I just pulled out one of his sticks. Now he's going to run away. He's going to go run away and lay on the clean blankets. Ugh. Yeah. So, yeah. I've been hand stitching some antique rabbit pelts onto a jacket I'm working on right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't know. It's one little edge I'm not I'm not crazy about, right? I'm gonna have to use some adhe more adhesive very, very carefully. That's what I think. Anyway. I think that's it. I don't know. And of course there's everything that's going on down there in Texas with the these anti-choice people I, I i cannot call them pro-life particularly when they're what they're trying to seek the death penalty for for these three women two women who helped their friend get access to um was it are you 486 is that what it, is that what it was the are you 486 anyway oh sorry i got my back doing a thing again <clears throat> How can they call themselves pro-life? How? 
How? How? Like, I agree. I think that, you know, women who have children should stay home and take care of them. Right? These women that push out babies and then go off to work and then expect everybody else to raise their kids for them really irritate me. Because, you know, like... Like, I'm supposed to, it's like, I, I didn't have your children, right? So why should I have to take care of them? Do that yourself, right? Like, I, I, I think that way. I feel that way. I do. Um, oh God, the whole abortion thing. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. It is so oppressive so oppressive keep religion out of government please 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 keep religion out of government please